Act Like You Don't Want Anyone's Attention by Neville Goddard. Adapted and Expanded Introduction The Power of Not Seeking Attention In a world dominated by social media likes, public recognition, and the constant pressure to be seen, there lies a quiet and often overlooked truth. Real power comes from within, not from the attention of others. The more you seek approval, the more elusive it becomes. It's a paradox that has stumped many, but those who truly understand it find themselves in a position of effortless influence, where their presence alone commands respect, admiration, and yes, attention. Neville Goddard's teachings offer us a glimpse into this paradox. He urges us to act as though we don't need anyone's attention, for it is in this state that we discover the source of real power. This book will dive deep into why we crave external validation, how to shift our focus inward, and how mastering this internal state leads to a more fulfilling life. By living as if you don't want anyone's attention, you draw the world towards you, on your terms. Most people spend their lives chasing validation from others, believing that recognition is the ultimate measure of success. From a young age, we're conditioned to seek approval. Whether it's in the form of good grades, social media likes, or career promotions, we are taught that external validation equals self-worth. But this is a dangerous illusion. Think about the last time you achieved something significant, a promotion at work, hitting a milestone, or even receiving praise from someone you respect. For a moment, it likely felt incredible. But how long did that feeling last? For many, the glow of external approval fades quickly, leaving them with a deep craving for more. They find themselves constantly searching for the next validation hit, like a drug that never quite satisfies. The Validation Trap This endless pursuit is what I call the validation trap. You believe that once you get that attention, you will finally feel whole, finally feel worthy. But the truth is that external validation can never fill the void you are trying to fill. Why? Because it is outside of you. Consider this. If your worth is based on others' opinions, then your sense of self becomes fragile, easily shaken by criticism, indifference, or rejection. You give away your power every time you let someone else dictate how you should feel about yourself. To break free from this trap, we must first recognize it for what it is, a game we've been conditioned to play. But once you understand that external validation is merely an illusion, you can begin to take back control of your inner world. The key to unlocking true influence and power lies in shifting your focus from external approval to internal certainty. But what does that mean in practice? To act like you don't want anyone's attention is not to disengage from the world or to act as though you don't care. It's about cultivating a deep, unwavering belief in yourself one that doesn't rely on the opinions or judgments of others. When you act from a place of inner certainty, the need for validation disappears. You no longer seek attention, and paradoxically, this is what draws people toward you. Inner certainty, the real source of power. Inner certainty is the quiet confidence that you are enough, that you have nothing to prove, and that your worth is inherent, not dependent on external factors. This kind of certainty can't be faked, but it can be developed. Start by asking yourself, what am I seeking from others that I should be giving to myself? Is it approval? Recognition? Love? Then make a commitment to provide those things to yourself first. If you want recognition, recognize your own achievements. If you want approval, approve of your own actions. If you want love, love yourself first. Neville Goddard teaches that the outer world is a reflection of your inner state. Therefore, when you stop seeking attention externally and start cultivating it internally, your outer world begins to shift in ways you might never have expected. People notice you not because you're trying to get their attention, but because you are living from a place of authenticity and power. Acting like you don't want anyone's attention doesn't mean you hide away from the world. On the contrary, it's about moving through life with purpose and confidence, without the constant need for validation. It's about learning to let go of the chase and instead focus on the substance of your life on who you are, what you contribute, and how you live. The Confidence Paradox Have you ever noticed that those who seem least concerned with impressing others often command the most attention? Think of people you admire, whether it's a leader, an artist, or someone in your personal life. Chances are they are not preoccupied with how others perceive them. Instead, they are focused on their work, their passion, and their purpose. This is the Confidence Paradox. The less you need attention, the more naturally it comes to you. This paradox works because people are naturally drawn to authenticity. When you no longer seek approval, you create a space for others to be drawn to your true self, 
rather than the version of you that is trying to please them. You stop broadcasting insecurity and start radiating confidence. Letting go of the need to please. One of the most powerful ways to embody this principle is to let go of the need to please others. People-pleasing is rooted in a deep desire for approval, often at the expense of your own needs and desires. But when you act from a place of self-assurance, you give yourself permission to prioritize what truly matters to you. To practice this, start saying no more often. When you stop overextending yourself to please others, you reclaim your time, energy, and focus. You learn to value yourself and your boundaries, and this naturally elevates how others perceive you. Now that you understand the power of not seeking attention, how do you apply this in your everyday life? How do you harness this subtle art of influence? Presence without performance. When you walk into a room, it's easy to fall into the trap of performance. You may feel the need to act a certain way, say the right things, or even look a certain way to gain approval. But real presence is not about performance. It's about being fully engaged in the moment without worrying about how others perceive you. To cultivate this kind of presence, practice mindfulness. When you are fully present, people notice. They sense your authenticity, your calm, and your groundedness. You don't need to perform because you are simply being yourself, and this is what draws people in. The power of silence. Silence is a powerful tool in the art of influence. When you speak less and listen more, you command attention. People are drawn to those who don't feel the need to fill every silence with words. Silence allows space for others to think, reflect, and engage with you on a deeper level. Next time you find yourself in a conversation, resist the urge to dominate it. Instead, ask thoughtful questions, listen attentively, and let your silence speak for you. This kind of subtle influence leaves a lasting impression. Living as if you don't need anyone's attention is not about arrogance or indifference. It's about understanding that your value doesn't come from external sources. It's about cultivating a life rooted in purpose, passion, and self-belief, so much so that the opinions of others become secondary. Building an internal foundation. To live this way, you must first build a strong internal foundation. This means committing to your growth, your passions, and your purpose, regardless of whether others notice or approve. It's about setting goals that are meaningful to you, not because they will impress others, but because they fulfill you. Start each day by asking yourself, what can I do today to honor my own values and passions? When you live in alignment with your inner truth, external validation becomes irrelevant. You are no longer swayed by the opinions of others because you are grounded in your own self-worth. The freedom of letting go. The final step in this journey is letting go of the need for control. When you stop trying to control how others see you, how they respond to you, or how they validate you, you experience true freedom. You are free to live your life authentically, without fear of judgment or rejection. This doesn't mean you won't still enjoy recognition or validation when it comes, but it means that you no longer depend on it for your happiness or sense of self. You are enough, exactly as you are, and that truth is what sets you free. Conclusion The Magnetic Power of Self-Assurance Neville Goddard's message in Act Like You Don't Want Anyone's Attention is clear. The less you seek attention, the more powerfully you draw it to you. By cultivating a life of inner certainty, presence, and purpose, you become magnetic without even trying. This journey is not about disengaging from the world, but about engaging with it from a place of strength and confidence. When you live from this space, you naturally command attention not because you need it, but because your authentic self shines through. So go forth, live boldly, and remember, the world will notice you when you no longer need it to. The attention you once sought is already within you. Embrace that truth and watch as your life transforms in ways you never thought possible. Final thoughts and exercises. Reflective exercise. One, spend five minutes each morning affirming your own worth. Repeat to yourself, I am enough. I am confident in who I am. Notice how this simple affirmation shifts your mindset throughout the day. Reflective exercise. Two, the next time you find yourself seeking approval or attention, pause. Ask yourself, what do I truly need in this moment? How can I provide it for myself? Let this practice guide you in cultivating inner certainty. Practical tip, start practicing silence in your conversations. Notice how your presence shifts when you speak less and listen more.